starting this week? I mean, there's less distractions than last time. For Yo, sure. this week is like it's it's night and day. I'm not starting off with half the audience upset with me. <laughs> um, my weight's good. I've got a great opponent. You know, we both are fairly respectful of each other. That's really refreshing. Uh, and I'm back at work, man. This is this is what I do. You know. I think a lot of people find it refreshing that it's, you're just taking the number one contender. I mean, people complain about the champion versus champion fights all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm there to fight whoever the fans think is the most deserving. And Anthony has done a great job putting himself in this position. And, uh, you know, I look at my position as, as being like, like a castle. You know, people are going to try to invade that castle. And my job is to uh, take on all the invaders. And, and that's Anthony Smith right now. Did it matter being in Vegas this time, given that the card got moved? No, it didn't matter. No way. Um, there's a lot of people who wanted the fight to be here initially for the Daniel Cormier fight. I'm sorry, for the Augustus 2 fight. And, you know, when the fight got switched, they weren't able to come. And, and it makes things right, you know? So, so everything has a way of working itself out. You've had several comebacks, you know, but this is like, you're still, you know, you kind of are right back in. Does it feel like different that it's not like, I've been out for a year and a half and I'm going to answer all the same questions? Like, you're right back at it. Yeah, I'm right back at it. It feels more familiar because I was just here what, eight weeks ago, it seemed. So, yeah, I just feel like, um, I feel like it's another day at the office, you know. Um, this is the land that I live in. John, so some of the stuff that you've gone through has not been in your um, hands, like when the fight got moved, but that was not your... But does it feel good to go through a fight week that, at least so far, kind of normal, it's sort of like, you know, it's, 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 you didn't get moved or something right. happened? I mean, yeah, it feels good. I mean, the majority of my career has been a, a really big success when you really think about it. You joked when Pedro and uh, Cody wouldn't talk trash to each other, you're like, well, there go the pay-per-view sales, but yeah. you just said it's been, you know, kind of nice that Anthony's been respectful, it's just kind yeah. of been smooth. Yeah, well, he hasn't been completely respectful, you know, he, I think he's trying to do a good job of not poking the bear, and at the same time, you know, when I look at some of the things he's saying, he'll say things like, you know, John's arrogance won't allow him to take me serious and stuff like that, and that's an insult. Um, other little things he said, he throws his little, his little jabs, uh, but, you know, that's to be expected, you know, the guy is trying to convince some things, you know, convince himself things like me being this this guy or that guy. Whatever he needs to do to get himself mentally prepared to to uh, go out there and put on his best performance. But with the numbers from your last two fights, the Gus fight and the Cormier, I mean, they've been big. So is there a level yeah. where you're just like, all right, I sell myself a little bit? Um, no, no, I need I need great opponents to make big fights, you know. Daniel Cormier is Daniel Cormier. Together, me and him are going to do great business. And um, Gustafson, man, a lot of people thought he was my kryptonite. I think a lot of people tuned in uh, thinking I was going to lose that fight. So, you know, I need my opponents to, to sell fights. Is, is arrogant a bad word? Because to me, like, all the great athletes, the greatest of all sports, have always been kind of arrogant. So you seem like you take arrogant first. Um, well, well, because if you knew me, if you actually went to the mall with me one day, or maybe we had dinner or went for a ride, you after that ride, you'd be like, man, that guy, he's all right. You know, I treat people with respect. I'm yes, sir. I'm no, sir. Yes, ma'am, you know, I try to take care of people around me. Um, but, but when I'm at work, you know, people don't want to see me sit here and be normal. They want to see uh, a little bit of, you know, that machismo, that, that what does that make that guy who he is. I think, you know, like my Angel said, our biggest fear is not that we're an adequate, but we're more powerful than measure, right? And, and, and so to talk small does me no service. When I'm at work, I need to, I need to sound like a champion.